Chelsea Monet and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be talking about how to be modestly chic. And don't get me wrong, you can be modest and still be edgy. You can be modest and wear streetwear. But in particular today, we're talking about how to be modestly chic. We're going to be giving effortless. No, I didn't roll out of bed today. Yes, I did brush my hair. Yes, I did iron my clothes. And I actually cared about the way I look and the way I walked up out of the house. So now I'm not one to box my personal style into one category. I honestly get dressed depending on how I feel that day. So some days I may be feeling very feminine, very girly, very cutesy, you know. And other days I wake up feeling very casual, don't really feel like getting dressed. And then some days I feel real edgy, real like I don't even know how to explain it. But, you know, it did... I get dressed depending on my feelings that day. So with that being said, I wouldn't say try to uh, label your personal style. I would honestly say look up different silhouettes depending on your body type. There are plenty of different body types. And I always say Google what best fits your body type. And not saying that Google is correct, but at least this gives you a starting point to know what to pick and what to try when it comes to like you going to the store and trying on different pieces the pieces that google recommend may work like they may not work but if you guys want detail on body types what pieces work for each body type what type of body type i have um and even color theory we can definitely get into that as well i do feel like color theory does play a huge part in not only personal style, but just leveling up who you are as a person and you reaching your highest self. And I'm definitely going to make a video on that. So if you are interested in that, definitely subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 10K subscribers. So subscribe and share this video with a friend. But in that video, I will teach you guys a little bit of, about both because color theory within itself could help you all over. It could help you know your perfect hairstyle or hair color the the perfect colors to wear you know within your clothes and within your outfits as well as the colors when it comes to like blush lipstick eyeshadow and the whole nine just so you can reach your highest self like i'm all about people reaching their highest self but i'm gonna stop babbling and just hop right into this video okay so to start off what does it mean to be modest or what is modesty now, social media, of course, gives us their own definition, girl. But the book definition or Google's definition says to behave or to dress to avoid, keyword avoid, inappropriate or sexual attention, right? So essentially, to me, that kind of means pretty much covering up, not showing a bunch of skin. That don't mean you can't show some skin, but... Like I said, uh, in a way to avoid sexual attention. Now, although you are dressing to be covered up, modesty does not mean you have to be boring. That's, that's, that's not the same thing, okay? So you can still be stylish, but still be modest and classy at the same time. And the easiest way to do that is to pay attention to detail. Go for pieces with unique silhouettes, with dramatic sleeves, ruffles um any type of detail that requires a seamstress to really be knowing what she's doing on that sewing machine that's the pieces that you want okay because the goal is to be covered to be cute and to be classy but to still show your personal style to still show your personality through your outfits and so with that being said yes you can pair basics with basics but why not grab for that elevated basic with a little mesh around the sleeve or uh, extra um, stitching along the side that just adds that perfect detail to level up your outfit. Now, as much as I love a good clean girl aesthetic outfit, when it comes to modesty and having a clean girl aesthetic, you can sometimes get a little boring. And so I always recommend implementing some color. Yes, girl, I said color. Put some color on. Color adds that personality and that pizzazz that is missing when it comes to being covered up. Now, once you've finally stepped out of your comfort zone of the neutral palette, girl, 
try to have a little fun and add some texture. Add some texture or maybe even dibble and dabble, you know, stick your little toe into finding a cute little pattern. Now, when I was exchanging or rearranging my wardrobe, I often go for texture first simply because you can implement texture within your neutral tones as well. So my favorites are black mesh, black leather, of course, brown leather, cream leather. Um, what else do we have? We have the fur. You girl love her fur. Uh, of course, you guys know that mesh and sheer knits are trending and there is a way for you to do that modestly. Okay, so I can also do a... A video on how to do that but still in a modest way as well also when it comes to patterns the easiest patterns to step into without looking too soulful is animal print I love animal animal print you guys know cheetah is trending right now I also feel like cheetah is something that never goes out of style at least for me my mom is a cheetah girl through and through your girl has always been a cheetah girl through and through okay so i love cheetah you can also implement zebra print you can also implement um what other print cowhide the girls be sleeping on cowhide cowhide is a very elegant classy animal print like a cowhide bag implementing and that's a whole nother y'all gonna go off on a tangent okay that's a whole nother element of styling is implementing these patterns and these textures within your accessories. I'm gonna go off on a tangent and this video is gonna be 20 minutes long. But yeah, definitely try to implement some texture and some patterns within your outfit and within your wardrobe. Pairing these types of pieces up with basic pieces not only elevates your outfit, but says, yes, I'm modest, yes, I'm covered up, but your girl still is stylish. She still likes to add a little, mm, a little personality to her outfits. And on the flip side, this honestly helps you build a more sustainable, impactful wardrobe because now you're able to mix and match and you don't have to buy a new outfit for every event. If you guys are buying a new outfit for every event, you do not have an impactful wardrobe. You do not have a sustainable wardrobe. And honestly, you're wasting money. You're wasting money on fast fashion instead of buying quality items. And if this is your first video of mine, your girl loves to thrift, okay? And not only do I like to thrift because I like to a bigger bang for my buck, I like it because in a thrift store, it's where you can find items that are 100% whatever fabric they're using. So with that being said, that means the items are automatically a higher quality than Fashion Nova and Shein. Now don't get me wrong, I love Shein. Okay, I love Shein. I will be giving you guys Shein hauls coming very, very soon. But sometimes you need the quality to sustain years and years to come. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll buy a basic off of Shein and then go buy a 100% wool trench coat from the thrift store. Or a hundred. This, this blazer, this is a Zara blazer. And it came straight from the thrift store. I paid, I paid what, $7 for this blazer? And like I said, it's Zara. I can show you guys the tag and everything. It's Zara. Very nice quality. Shoulder pads. Love it. Honestly, most of my Zara pieces come from the thrift store. But that's neither here nor there, girl. Your girl is going off on a tangent again, okay? But it's just because I'm passionate about fashion and just giving the girls the fashion for the affordable price. Like... We can have affordable luxury while being modest, while being stylish, while being chic, while being classy, while being all the things, okay? And lastly, my favorite way to be modest and chic is trousers. You guys, when I tell you I love trousers, whether it's trouser shorts or trouser pants, trousers will make any outfit look chic and you're going to be modest at the same time. No matter if you are wearing the trousers with a sweatshirt, no matter you if you are wearing the trousers with a graphic tee, um, you can pair it with the blouse, of course. You can, you can literally pair trousers with anything and it's going to look elevated and it's going to look like you put in work and it's going to look like you actually tried. 
My favorite uniform right now is the bodysuit with trousers. And I honestly wish I had this uniform back in college because I would have never went to class looking a mess. Now, granted, I always made sure I was, you know, looking decent, but to me, a bodysuit and trousers is the perfect uniform to just throw on and go run errands or to just throw on and be comfortable. Now, the key with the trousers is to get trousers that fit loosely. Do not get trousers that fit tight. You want to be able to replace your trou your sweatpants with your trousers. So if your trousers are not comfortable, then you're doing it backwards, girl. Also, if you are going to try wearing trouser shorts, especially if you live in Texas like I am and grow is still hot. When you try trouser shorts, I love to get my trouser shorts from the men's department in a thrift store. And that's because trouser shorts on men go down to their knee. But on women, since we have a little bit more thighs and a little bit more hips, they come right above the knee. And I just feel like that is the perfect length for you to be comfortable, um, for you to cover up as well as for you to not have to like continue pulling your shorts down, like, you know, as they're riding up, cause I'm a thick girl and my legs do rub together. And so if you know, you a thick girl too, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But like now that I dress for comfortability and to be stylish and I don't wear super short shorts, sometimes I look back and I be like, how did I ever, how did I ever, was comfortable wearing that but the, the thing is i was never comfortable i was just too busy trying to be cute instead of comfortable but um <laughs> but anyways if you guys stay to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i gave you guys some helpful tips definitely like this video so youtube can push out these types of videos to other people that like them and like i said before we are on the road to 10k followers subscribers and so definitely share this video with a friend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.